Um, all right, Trump. Dear Billy Elect, I don't agree with everything Trump says, but I wholeheartedly believe that he's the only person that can set this country on a course of honesty. I'd rather know what a guy is actually thinking and disagree than to not know what he's thinking and to have to have faith. What are your thoughts? Um, says phone store girl. Uh, oh, no, sorry. That's the next one. Um, I 100% agree. That's why he, even though he said all that stupid shit about Mexicans, to just, you know, having a white, like, the thing about that guy, the shit he says about Mexicans and stuff, like, as fucked up as it is, it's like, that's what a white guy who's lived on the top floor of a skyscraper, that's that's the kind of shit, that, that's the way they think. I went there, I've been to the border. Uh, oh, yeah, did you fucking drive by in your air-conditioned SUV for fucking 20 minutes? You know what you're talking about. I'm not trashing. I'm not trashing the guy. Like, dude, the, that fucking shit he said about the bankers again. I felt vindicated when he was going like when they were giving him shit for declaring bankruptcy. And he goes, he goes, I've done hundreds and hundreds of deals four times, four times. I've taken advantage of the bankruptcy laws. By the way, they are laws. So he's not doing anything illegal. And he goes, and by the way, let's not make out these people that loan me money to be these innocent little daisies or whatever. He goes, they're not exactly innocent. He goes, these guys are killers. He's 100% right. 100% fucking right. Having said all that, I mean, that money was also put in to the banks by mom and pop people. But it was printed out by the bankers. And it's really not our money. It's their money. And you're, they give it to you and your job's to get into as much debt as humanly possible without going under and paying those cunts for the rest of your fucking life. They are killers. Um, but having said that, there's, there's no way any one person could get this country in order because what would happen is if he got elected, he would threaten everybody else who got in the other way and no one would work with him um, in a childish way. And then they would blame him. And then the guys who put the money behind all the politicians also own newspapers and everyone would just smear Donald Trump. And then every fucking moron who thinks they know shit about politics would be like, see, it doesn't work. It doesn't fucking work. It'll go right back to the way that they want it um, to truly change any government to truly fucking change when it's as corrupt as we are in most of the other governments. I'm not just shitting on my country, but as corrupt as we are, the only way to do it is you have to have literally a revolution and people are going to die and people are going to go on trial and there's going to be fucking firing squads and all that type of shit. You know, you don't just go like, hey, we've had enough. And then the people in power go, oh, OK. All right. Here's the keys to the castle. Let's see how you do. <laughs> Can I have a job? It doesn't go down like that. So um, but I will say um, that guy, he's a he's a Donald Trump is a fucking star. Uh, but I also liked there was a couple other guys on the panel. I liked I liked uh, Rand Paul. And then I like the uh, the older fella there. What the fuck's his name? I can't remember. But that guy from Jersey is a fucking dope. He's just smart enough to seem smart. But at the end of the day, he, he's big fucking roast beef head. He's, he's a fucking dope. That guy should not go beyond the state level. But he will. He will.